Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about Citrix Director. So Citrix Director is one of the uh, best troubleshooting tools in Citrix environment. You can see a lot of things about what is actually happening in the Citrix environment and you can take very uh, smart decisions or you can be really proactive while uh, using Citrix Director. So I'll try to log into the Citrix Director and I'm going to show a couple of things. Uh, that can be useful for you while working with Citrix Director in your environment. Okay, so I will log in as administrator. All right, so I'm going to click login. It should sign in in a couple of seconds. Cat is trying to load. Okay, so we logged in successfully. Okay, this is the front page of Citrix Director. So it says something like over the last one hour you have two user connection failures. So you can see all the details here. It says client connection failures too. So this is the name of the delivery group, Finance Windows OS. And this is the delivery controller. You have uh, delivery, delivery controllers information here. Right now I have only one controller. And this is the FQDN. That is mentioned here and it also gives information about license server it says something like licenses are about to expire the product is using on using an evaluation license that will expire in 70 days so it gives like all the crucial details of your Citrix environment and and you can take very very smart decisions based upon that you can be really proactive like I said before okay if you see here it says client connection failures VM unavailable connection not established so this happened if you see a red color uh, you know symbol or red color mark here a small uh, diagram okay it, 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 we experienced this issue at 11:51 p.m. okay right now it is 12:31 a.m. which is 00:31 a.m. so this issue happened like how many minutes ago yeah 40 minutes ago and we also experienced some issue one failure at 12 o'clock okay exactly 30 minutes ago we experienced some issue so you can see all the details here so the status of the license server is okay and the gray state is still not active so let's do one thing so these are the details on the uh, main screen or the main page let me scroll down a little bit okay if I move this to the left here you'll find very interesting information see if you see here it says average logon duration and number of logons okay let me okay so to launch the application it took 61 seconds if you see here it says 61 seconds one logon uh, around 2345 11 45 p.m. so let's say for example a user called up and the user said that my Citrix my Citrix is very slow Citrix is very very slow and I'm not able to uh, you know use it properly so what you can do is you can find out the details like user belongs to which uh, delivery group or catalog or which machine and based upon that you can easily track that information okay so here it took 61 seconds here it took 68 seconds so you can compare these details like uh, if this is happening during a specific period of time like if, it's, if it is happening only at uh, I don't know uh, 10 a.m. in the morning every day you know it takes like 90 seconds but the rest of the time when user tries to connect it takes only 40 seconds maybe you can 
maybe you can find out like maybe during the peak hours many users are trying to connect and there is a bit of uh, overlapping or there is overload on these servers maybe that is the reason why there is a network congestion basically and, and it takes a while for the users to launch the session so you can troubleshoot like that you can get a lot of details like that and uh, what else what else yeah if you want to find the historical trend you can also check here like in very big environments you know when you have like hundreds of machines you can see a lot of details here so it's trying to load something so over the last two hours i can see uh, you know uh, the peak session the peak connected sessions uh, it happened at 11:46 11:48 and at 12 o'clock and it went down 12:4 okay so this is just for one machine i could find the details but if you have like in 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 a in a customer environment when you have like hundreds of machines then you can see a lot of information here and it is easily it is very easy for you to track what is actually happening in each and every week or each each and every month of your uh, uh, year okay so this is sessions and if you go to failures here so it is trying to pull out failures information as well so you see this uh, like a sine wave around 11:50 it failed so around uh, again 12 o'clock it failed so you can track a lot of details like that now let me go to the next screen which is log on performance okay so this is log on performance and i would like to check a few details here if you if you just uh, you know put your cursor here it is showing to broker to to broker a session brokering it took 7.18 seconds just to broker a session okay and the average logon duration the entire logon duration took 61 seconds okay and the hdx connection took 7.47 seconds and the authentication happened in once i type my credentials it took 0.17 seconds to authenticate and the group policies got applied in 1.35 seconds okay and uh, profile loaded in 0.67 seconds and the interactive session is 18.76 and you can also check the same for the other machine as well so this machine uh, this time it took 3.21 for brokering and uh, authentication happened in 0.13 so here authentication happened in 0.17 seconds here the authentication happened at 0.13 seconds here gpos applied in 1.96 seconds but here gpos applied in 1.35 seconds so you can compare a lot of things is it is it uh, happening if there is any slowness or something is it happening only specific period of time like 11 am or 12 pm or is it happening every hour of the day so you can check those details here so let's go to load evaluator index okay so this is a load evaluator index you can use your you know you can uh, sort out using your delivery group to find out the details let me check if i have some details here let me click apply okay it's not showing anything but in uh, you know big environments you will find a lot of details and you can track it let me click on capacity management this also is normal let me make it as last one month okay if you see here it is showing some details so it is peak concurrent application instances uh, let me highlight so around 17th of uh, September there were two peak concurrent applications instances happening okay happened so yeah and also uh, if you check here on 19th of September we have one peak concurrent application instance that was running and here it was uh, on 28th and 21st between 28th and 21st of September there was one peak concurrent application instance okay 
so yes so like this you can find a lot of details okay so it's very very helpful to uh, uh, troubleshoot any problem so let me do one thing let me quickly go to search and uh, let me look for a machine and show some details let me look for a machine called vdi03 it should show it should show something okay let me click on it okay i clicked on it so it is trying to uh, it should pull some information in a few minutes let's see what is going to happen okay uh, power control here it is giving me an option to restart force restart shutdown force shutdown suspend resume start all these things so it is slowly trying to uh, pull out some details okay now we have some details here so what is the name of the machine is vdi03 is the name of the vdi and the display name is finance windows os delivery group is finance windows os uh, the site name is mumbai and it is in registered state the machine is in registered state which is good and the OS is Windows Server 2012. It is a random desktop. This is the IP address. This is the VDA version on the machine. And also you can find the vCPUs or virtual CPUs of that particular VM. It is 2 and the memory is 2 GB and the hard disk is 25 GB. You can find all the details here. Now let's do one thing. Let's go to the right. And here you will see all the details of your Citrix infrastructure like you will find the hypervisor details if something is down it would show the alerts here then you can be really proactive and you can raise an incident with help desk i'm sorry not with help desk you can raise an incident with level 2 or level 3 so you can find the uh, status of the delivery controller right now it's in online online state and the services are good it is the site database from the controller is connected the license server is up and it is connected and the configuration logging database is connected monitoring database is also connected so everything looks good so so these are some hot fixes that are readily available if you can uh, you know update it on the machines you can do it you can find those details here now let's go up and uh, let's uh, try to gather some more details actually so let's try to okay here it shows disk latency as well okay okay so let me click on view historical utilization okay let me start it for the last one month and i'm going to click apply so it is going to check CPU, memory, IOPS, disk latency. Okay, let me just select. Okay, let me just select CPU. Okay, let me just select last two hours and see how it goes. Okay, we could find some details here. So uh, right now we have selected only the CPU utilization. If you want to find the CPU utilization on the VDI machines, you can you can quickly check here. So around 12:30, the CPU utilization went up to 17%, and the memory is 680 MB, and it went down here for some reason, and it quickly went up to 9%. And the memory is 832 MB again, and they were like two concurrent sessions. Okay, this is on 24th 9, 2021, which is uh, yesterday. So if you see here, it went up to 21% again, and then it went up to 32%. So you can find all the details here. And based upon that, if uh, you know, if 
the user says you know the, the VDA machine is quite slow you can probably check the details here of that particular machine if the VDA VDA machine is having very high CPU utilization or memory memory utilization you can find out why it is happening and troubleshoot accordingly okay maybe if the user is using some uh, CPU intensive or memory intensive applications in the VDA environment uh, you can uh, do some things like if you want you can in, in a virtual in a virtual environment you can easily uh, increase the ram or the cpu all these things so you have to check with the right team if the user is facing these issues again and again then you can probably you know say that uh, the cpu the virtual cpus or memory can be increased on the vdm machine so that the user will not be able to face these kind of issues again so this is for the cpu let's look at memory i think we have already seen memory as well so this is how it looks uh, memory is at uh, 6 Okay, 667 MB, uh, 680 MB, and here it's 832. Okay, the utilization seems okay, but if you scroll right, seems like it went a little bit up. 797, fine. Okay, here it's 878. It's also fine. Okay, it's constant. It's, it's okay. So yes, so basically you can find a lot of details from Citrix Director here and you can analyze it and you can give a critical uh, feedback to your uh, Citrix team or your uh, company about this so that they can take nice steps to fix these kind of issues. Okay, so uh, I think it is enough for you. Uh, it is enough at this point. Maybe this video is already long. So I am going to uh, make some other videos, few more videos about Citrix Director on few more topics I am going to cover. Uh, I hope you like this video and if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment. And if you like this video, you, can, you may like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.